So yesterday we presented the, the results of the SANO trial. The standard treatment for esophageal cancer right now is neoadjuvant chemo radiotherapy followed by surgery. We see that after neoadjuvant chemo radiotherapy, nearly one third of the patients have pathologically complete response, which imposes us with the dilemma whether or not we should operate every patient or should we be willing to uh, perform an organ sparing strategy like active surveillance for those patients. Um, and that's what we studied in the SANO trial. Uh, we see that at two years, patients undergoing active surveillance had non-inferior overall survival compared to patients undergoing standard surgery. Um, furthermore, we see that both the disease-free survival and the rate of distant metastasis was not statistically significantly different. Um, and we see that after active surveillance, patients had a uh, improved short-term uh, related quality of life. Um, and we believe that at least one third of the patients with a clinically complete response uh, could, be, could avoid an unbeneficial uh, esophagectomy. We believe that after publication uh, of these results with uh, non-inferior overall survival at two years, uh, we should discuss at least with the patients the option of an organ sparing treatment and discuss with them the pros and cons of active surveillance, uh, with the pros being uh, avoiding an unbeneficial esophagectomy or the chance of avoiding unbeneficial esophagectomy and an improved short-term hair quality of life. And the cons being that we, but we don't know now what the long-term efficacy will be of these, uh, of this active surveillance strategy.